So a couple weeks ago when I took a look at the Coca-Cola Oreos, I like them. They're fantabulous, stupendous, exhilarating. They, they, they had something very interesting, like the pop rocky part of it. I just really was drawn to. So when I was going to find the Coca-Cola version, I was going to be intrigued because I'm not the biggest fan of the Coca-Cola Creations line. That's such a hard sentence to say, Coca-Cola creation. Something about it just never, I was, became very lukewarm on it very quick because just certain flavor aspects of it just didn't work. All of them had a zero sugar aspect to it, which is never my favorite thing. All started doing raspberry flavors, it just didn't work for me. Can't go wrong with a chocolate soda, can you? Not all now, it's not all fancy bells and whistles, the Oreo logo and a nice sleek black bottle. No, 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 no. Yeah, you, you do have to have a good flavor. Does it work? Let's find out. Hey everyone, welcome back to an episode of Fast Talk, the fast food show where I talk about fast food, talk faster about it, where I definitely plug in my SD card and make sure my camera is recording. Man, I've never been disappointed by something. This is like, what's a, what's a duo? It's like Sylvester Stallone and, uh, uh, and Paul Rubens, not Paul Rubens, What's that guy's name? It's like in Judge Dredd, you had Sister Stallone and the other guy, not Paul Rubens. What's his name? I don't remember, but it's uh, Rob Snyder. That's his name. Can't forget a name like that. Of like good and just badly acting. Like it's, I don't know. This isn't great. It's not a great, like, I don't know why Coca-Cola has to continue doing zero sugar flavors because it really detracts from the actual flavor. There's no chocolatey notes. There's no creamy notes. It's not like that Oreo coffee that International Delight made. I'm gonna make an Cinnabon one, which I'm really excited for. That the creamy part of the coffee was the Oreo cream and the roasty part of it was the cookie of the Oreo. Those worked very well together. Here, none of this here. It's promising to be a fizzy cookie flavored soda. Is it? No, not really. It's kind of frustrating because I was really excited for this. I've never had my hopes dashed this bad by something like this. Which is kind of frustrating. Because I really want to have like high like high hopes on this and have like a really good review. But it's like it's like a five out of ten. It's it's something I tried. Yeah, it's but it's kind of disappointing. In all honesty, but what are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments while you're also there. You can leave a like and subscribe to the channel. You can follow me at FT underscore reviews. You can also check out my podcast, like my podcast. Guys, have a day.